I'm reading the definitions for these illustrated vocabulary words from Scholastic Scope Magazine's article, Deadly Hits, by Lauren Tarshis. Coma. Noun. A coma is a state of unconsciousness caused by damage to the brain from an injury or sickness. When people are in a coma, their bodies are in a sleep-like state that they cannot wake from. They do not respond to sounds or touch. A coma can last for hours, days, weeks, or even longer. And some people never wake up from a coma. Feverishly. Adverb. The adjective feverish can mean having or showing the symptoms of a fever or involving intense emotion or activity. You might feel feverish if you're sick. A crowd might be full of feverish excitement. If you do something feverishly, you do it quickly and intensely with great excitement or energy. You might work feverishly to finish an assignment before the bell rings. The people in the illustration are working feverishly. Frantic. Adjective. Frantic means wild with fear, worry, or extreme emotion, or done in a hurried, nervous, and wild way. A frantic bird might fly around your house in a state of panic after flying in through your kitchen window. The man in the illustration is frantic as he tries to go somewhere. Glamorize. Verb. To glamorize something is to make it appear glamorous and more exciting or attractive than it really is. For example, cigarette advertisements glamorize smoking. They make it look like something that young, cool, healthy people do, when in reality, smoking is terrible for your health. The people in the illustration are trying to glamorize their lives on their smartphones or social media. Implement. Verb. To implement something is to put it into effect or practice. A school principal might announce that on Monday, the cafeteria will implement a new system for sorting trash and recycling. In the illustration, the soccer coach implements the plan and the team wins the game. Initial. Adjective. Initial means occurring first or at the beginning, as in once the initial shock wore off, I grew to really like my new haircut, or the initial drafts of my essay were much longer than the final version. In the illustration, there are images of a man when he first wins money. His initial reaction is he is excited. Lastly, he has no money left and he looks disappointed or sad that his pockets are empty. Scrutiny. Now, scrutiny is the act of carefully examining or inspecting something for faults or mistakes. You might check over your answers to a math test with scrutiny, making sure you haven't made any careless errors before handing in the test. If an actor is under scrutiny by the media, his actions are being constantly watched, judged, and reported. Scrutiny is often preceded by the preposition under. In the illustration, the print is under the scrutiny of a detective with a magnifying glass. Sustain. Verb. To sustain something is to support it or keep it going. If you've just started to learn French, you would probably find it hard to sustain a conversation in French for half an hour. If you're hungry, eating a snack might sustain you until lunch. A broken chair might not be able to sustain much weight. Sustain can also mean to suffer, experience, or endure, as in Chris sustained two broken toes in the accident. In the illustration, the person sustained injuries. Traumatic. Adjective. Something that is traumatic is so upsetting and shocking that it may lead to serious mental and emotional problems. Witnessing a disaster might be a traumatic experience. 
In medical terms, traumatic means relating to or caused by a serious injury to the body. Let's practice. Christina made a frantic or traumatic dash for the departing school bus. After making it halfway up the hill, Darren could no longer sustain or glamorize his speed. After being in a coma or scrutiny for days, Mr. Goldberg woke up and made a full recovery. The show glamorized or sustained the celebrity's life leaving out the challenges of being so famous. My parents plan to implement or glamorize my new curfew at the beginning of summer break. Look for the answers to the practice in the comments.